and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Sejuani. That's right, we got our last brand new deck today. Going to be combining Nocturne with the Fearsome and Nightfall together with some uh, Frostbite. We're going to have some Frostbite with Sejuani, Harsh Winds, Flash Freeze, Brittle Steel. Just a little bit of Frostbite. So combining Frostbite, Fearsome, and Nightfall all together and seeing how it will work out. Um, go, would, going with just Shadow Isles, we don't have, there's not tons and tons of Nightfall cards. Um, you know, they're kind of split between Shadow Isles and Targon. So we're, you know, we're playing, you know, basically all the good ones. We, you know, we got our Doom Beast, Unspeakable Horror. Unspeakable Horror is going to be critical because it's not only a Nightfall card, but then it creates another Nightfall card for us. So that's, a, that's an extra way to get more Nightfall cards. Because if we want to level up Nocturne, we're going to have to attack with five Nightfall allies. So that's a way to find another Nightfall ally. Of course, the Stalking Shadows could get us two. Um, and then also Fading Memories could get us an extra. So we, got, we have a few ways to try to get us some extras. Um, you know, besides just regular card draw like Aperos and Sentry. Um, Fearsome Skitter is not Nightfall, but you know, also a good Fearsome thing. Uh, reduces the power of enemies trying to block as well. Um... Let's see, Babbling Bjerg can be pretty awesome in our deck because Babbling Bjerg drawing a unit of 5 plus power, well, that's Nocturne and that's Sejuani. So, going to be both of our champions. This is going to be just Entreat for two extra mana where we also get a 3 3 body. So, Babbling Bjerg will be getting those for us. Um, Nocturne, of course, grants an enemy vulnerable, and Sejuani gives an enemy vulnerable this round with also Frostbiting. So, those two kind of work well together. Um, and we'll have our extra, our extra reach with Doom Beast draining the Nexus. Of course, Unspeakable Horror can go at the Nexus. Um, you know, our onlookers are going to be really aggressive. Another fearsome card with the Arachnoid Horror. So that's what our deck's all about. And then, of course, um, Omen Hawk and Avaros and Sentry doing their thing. So let's see, let's see how this does. Nocturne Sejuani combining these two together. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. We'll see how it ends up. All right, good day, Maverick. Another really good streamer. This hand looks pretty good. Doom Beast isn't like the best thing to just throw down on turn three, of course, because the Nightfall. So it's like we could go slower, but. We, we definitely just want to play Omen Hawk on turn one. Omen Hawk's like a great one drop that's also not too bad drawing late because if you draw Omen Hawk later on, it can be a Nightfall enabler for you. And Freljord, Freljord also just brings along cheap spells, as we see with Elixir of Iron. Um... But that's a, a good Nightfall enabler as well, like your Elixir of Irons, your Brittle Steels, that kind of stuff. Two mana, four, three. Fearsome. I think I'd just go Sentry and save the Elixir of Iron. Not using our Nightfall stuff yet. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. I'm going to be too worried about that. Targon's history is in each stone and star. Ooh, okay, let's see. So I can play Brittle Steel first and then Nocturne. And then I still have Elixir of Iron Mana. The Brittle Steel doesn't really do that much if I if I do that.
I think it's worth it. Nah, it's still good. It's good to get this Nocturne buff, I think. So I do want to take out this Mountain Scryer. I don't want them just to be able to sit back and not... Um, not do anything with that Mountain Scryer. Gosh, Leona is so big. A 3-5? That thing is so big. You gotta believe me! Man. I should have just gone right to attacks, maybe. And not even played this. The skies darken. Leona's very good. So they have three Celestial cards in hand. They've evoked three times. At least they don't cost one less now. Grant allies everywhere, plus two, plus two. Well, that's pretty silly. just be able to kill this thing. Create another Nightfall card in hand. So all their units everywhere are going to have that plus two, plus two. It's gotta be a, over, right? Yeah, this has gotta be over. Everything everywhere is the plus two, plus two, always. We got Leona and Mountain Scryer out of here. That's great news. Down to 11.
blur. Her light will always rise. Oh my gosh, it's not daybreak because I played that other thing. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Play the fading memory so we don't get the daybreak anymore, right? Well, that was dumb. But it's good, good learning. Good learning experience. all we have are just learning experiences right now I fight for the fallen I'll have a way to sacrifice my own thing all right let's try again they left me alive that was a mistake Invoke's pretty good. Give all of my, you know, Iceborne legacy to everything I ever play. That's hard to beat, you know, unless you're like really far ahead and you can already close out the game, but we just weren't, we weren't far enough ahead. GG's. Playing the Nocturne when I did. Kind of wish I didn't. I wish I would have just gone right to attacks. Uh, that that Leona, you know, just just ruined my turn. A good start for us. Misfortune Quinn not having a one drop or a two drop. It's got to be like Petty Officer this turn, so it doesn't make sense to play the Sentry first. Okay, or it's that. Um, if I okay, I'm gonna wait, save, save my spell mana, play this first, and then I can have unspeakable horror with Nightfall. We got a single combat out of them. That's great. So I have found out that Unspeakable Horror will still get you the Nightfall. Love ya. We're able to... Yeah, able to get that uh, single combat out of their hand is really important. Torches. Alert the village.
Want to give them the opportunity to spend their mana before I play my Nocturne. My shield is yours. Gave that thing? What? Shield up. Why would that get the barrier? Oh, they're going to barrier that thing like that. All right. We have attacked with two Nightfall allies as far as Nocturne is concerned. Soldiers to me. Misfortune is vulnerable for good. Time for violence. Look out for reavers. He's doing the sentry there to draw a card. So the reason why the Elixir of Iron was important this turn anyway was because of the Misfortune. Like, I couldn't block with any of those things anyway. So that's why I liked it. Um, was basically because of Misfortune. All right, so the Warrior is... The Warrior is good against everything except for Scythria. The Traveler, we get another sweet Invoke card. Next turn is going to be turn 7. So I could go like the the shadow things first and see if they play something for my the warrior. Um, tough to say. Let's go, traveler. I mean, we could try this cosmic inspiration. Journey is a discovery. Who does not know the name Laurent? Does seem like that would be pretty sweet. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. Get everything plus two plus two everywhere. Thank you. New recruit reporting in. I have to say that looked pretty awesome last game. Head to the face. Harry, repost. You are toast. Hardly fair. In the name of our land. No one goes hungry. Okay. Let's see. So we can block. We consider. That looks fine with me. Do I want to protect, what, Crescent Guardian, I guess? <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, I I forgot that plus two plus two refilled our spell mana. I, I didn't really even think of that. I forgot about that with that card. So that thing only costs seven and it refills spell mana. That card's better than I realized because I, I have not been realizing that thing refilled spell mana also. Fatal is a mountain and covered in ice. <laughs> GG. Suddenly, the Demacia deck isn't the largest thing going around. All right, so I think, what's the name of that Celestial? I think we have learned that that card is bonkers. <laughs> Losing to it real bad in game one and then winning with it real good in game two. I think that's what we've learned so far. That card is bonkers. Refilling spell mana also. I wonder why that clause is in there. Like, it wasn't good enough already? So we get to just save the Brittle Steel with the one mana. Take the removal spell. Obviously, my opponent doesn't like that. But I am happy with that removal spell. Cards are just two health, they're not wonderful blockers. So we'll take the trade, get the damage in. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Man, if I could guarantee. why that attack was made. Like, why would you attack the 2-1 into the 3-3? Wonder why. Missing translation. No translation. So they'd rather kill that than the Nocturne. Okay, they're just gonna kill them both. So they have two Nightfall cards in hand. And then they should also have um, the other card from the Stalking Shadows, the ephemeral copy of something. Listen. Far 
Just playing the Babbling Bjerg because uh, it's ephemeral, so I like playing that right now. And we'll just pass. I mean, Nocturne's been a pretty decent removal spell. That's kind of what our champions are, is they are uh, good removal spells. That's the thing they got ephemeral. That's too bad. That's a wonderful card. We played a Mist Wraith deck yesterday, and I just, I never had Stalking Shadows or Wraith Caller. <laughs> just net, like, those things never happened. I'm not, I guess I'm not very good at playing Mist Wraiths, I guess. That's a good one. Good draw. Hey, style unit. Um, no, I wouldn't say I'm underwhelmed with Nocturne. No, I think it's a a fine champion. Ephemeral Doom Beast to be able to block their Ephemeral Mistwraith. Got a bunch of Doom Beasts. The Challenger. That challenger is a great card. Like that's a wonderful one to take. Take the blocker and everything. That's a good one. Wow. Dang, I'm gonna die. Leave no survivors. You don't get to frostbite and block, which is what I wanted to do. Nine mana, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, six, or four, seven, ten. Do you have ten? I'll just fear to the north, though. Wait, so you played... Okay, so you... You attacked with Darius, had it die, and then you went Rekindler, Apprehend. That's pretty sweet. Oh. 
That's pretty sweet. Is it better to have Fury of the North available or cast this Doom Beast and attack with that? Ride onward. Our knife falls out like what two? <laughs> or Nocturne? Nocturne's at two now. Nocturne attacked and now Doom Beast attacks. All right, so I know I could put them down to two. Which would have been perfect for Doom Beast, I know. And that's the aggressive line. I'm going to go with the safer line of this because... I guess I would have had a Sejuani. Okay, oh man, now we have a Harsh Winds. Man, now I wish... I was kind of scared of, like, Mystery... Ooh, that's a scary card. Yes. I was scared of, um, like, the instant speed mist rates, and then, like, going straight to attacks. Like, you know, they still had four mana, so they, they could have, like, played something post-combat, and then my turn, the, the instant speed mist rates. I was scared of that. Um, Alright, so I Frostbite, Frostbite, play Doom Beast, block two things, I take eight, and I go to seven. Darn it. Well, I should have been aggressive. Okay, well, didn't work out. Uh, I'll know that for next turn to do, do the aggressive line with Harrowing. I was thinking more of the, the quick attack, you know, like the burst speed mist rates. Uh, but yeah, I could have won that one. But... My play was not good against Harrowing, of course. So the thing about playing these games is a lot of it is just, you know, you gotta you gotta play a lot of games or like y'all watching, you gotta watch a lot of games and just kinda see how things you know, see how things happen. You know, you gotta got like that's how that's a big way of improving, is just playing a lot and watching a lot. And seeing corner case scenarios come up and, and being being used to those kind of things. Yeah, that's that's cool. that's definitely a good call there, Muffin. I I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to my Sejuani. I don't know how close I was to level up Sejuani and being able to have Doom Doom Beast um, drain. I don't know. I don't know if you know a couple of turns before if I could have taken that line of um, looking to looking to do that. I don't know. Alright, basically just, I don't know, turning that into a 2-1 for the Unspeakable Horror here in a little bit. Not really planning on doing that right now, but just in a little bit we'll have that. Um, I guess, let's see, we're playing against Swain. Okay, actually that's, yeah, I mean, might as well block. So, against against Avalanche dot deck, I think I want the Sentries. <laughs> more than Doom Beasts. Doom Beast would level up the Sejuani. But I think I want the Sentries. A chill in the air. Dang, that's a great card. They're out there. 
I'll spot him. Some great defense for them. That's a, speaking of great cards. That's another good one. These old eyes still see far and clear. We have nine mana. <laughs> oh, that's pretty silly. By my hand, Noxus rise. In Avarosa's name! It's Freljord ramp stuff with... Artigas. With the new region of Targon with all the power of Celestials. Kind of seems like that's where it should be, not with Noxus. That's what it feels like. Really want to kill this weirding stones. Really want to kill this weirding stones. Light the signal fires. Uh, I don't know if... Yeah, I mean, I would assume... We haven't seen Avalanche, but I would assume that my opponent is playing Avalanche. Also, but we haven't seen it yet. That seems like a fair assumption. Safeguard our homes! Don't really know how I get through this trundle. Really get through it all. The calm before the storm. Definitely wish I had one more mana to be able to flash freeze the trundle. Leave your bags in the door. Dang, their cards have just lined up so well against mine. I just have... I have nothing. I mean, I can attack. The trundle gets to eat stuff with the regeneration. So I basically I can sacrifice two of my fearsome units to kill the kindly tavern keeper and do three damage to them. Like, that sounds terrible. Um, I don't think we're really there yet, Hasabu. I don't think there are strongest decks yet. For myself, yeah, for myself it would be Lulu Shen, for just, for myself, for how I play and everything. Um, but like overall in the format, I don't know. Still just a couple of days in, I think it's, we're too early for that. Really looking for like Lunari Priestess with the Invoke, that, that's... 
are we wait do we not do we have lunari priestess no we don't how did we get to invoke before that's my only hope so i guess we had unspeakable horror create lunari priestess that created stuff that's my only hope Wow, Kordak. You have no faith in me, do you, Kordak? No faith in me. Yeah, so Trundle Swain seems to be good against the small Shadow Isles decks that... That, uh... That looks to be the case. I had great hands both times we played against the Trundle Swain today. Cortex over here saying that my 5-0 lists aren't updated on Dex of Runeterra, but they are. There's plenty of killing left. But they are. So if I would have attacked with the Stygian Onlooker, even though I didn't, even though it didn't uh, have the Nightfall, would that have counted towards my Nocturne? Alright, I'm not going to let them have Plunder right away. We, of course, have the Unspeakable Horror that can finish out this 3-1. It would count? Okay. Good to know. This unspeakable horror card is... I don't know, it's, it's like a little bug or something. Like, it's, it's always a little slow. We're trying to play it. So yeah, you do get the Nightfall cards from other regions, not just your region. Up there in the mountains! Keep them from trying to trying to keep them from getting these easy plunders. Look out there! Okay, yeah, it does count. Cause yeah, we didn't we didn't cast that with Nightfall, but it did count. Cool. I'm not greedy. My friends though. That's cool. Gypsy, where they come from? Cruise them, face like it. Best hope they'll do, mate. I'll show them pain. You know the value of coin. Bar the doors! They're never gonna have Flunder turned on. Never. Never, I tell you. 
Really? We missed. We drew a, a follower there with the Omen Hawk, and then our top four cards all missed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the 5 decks used to be PNZ and PNZ and Bilgewater. We did we did a, a good amount of PNZ Bilgewaters in a row. With yeah, like Twisted Fate, Vi, and Casino and Twisted Fate. Heimerdinger. Right, Nocturne's at four. Sejuani's at three. We are getting close with Nocturne. Probably choose the Babbling Bjerg. Go with Petty Officer and get two bodies right now. Yeah, let's just go draw a Sejuani, get a 3 3 blocker. Rude. So obviously the problem here is is Riptide Rex. It's obviously the problem. You can see the Debastian border from here. I'll take my Maybe they don't have Riptide Rex? Don't ask me. Ooh, no Riptide Rex. To no one. Well then. Alright, Nocturne levels up. Just gonna give all of our units fearsome. So they have three things they can block. Rush, huh? Presumably they're taking two from my elusive, which puts them down to seven. Then you know this thing has overwhelm. I put them to zero. I can't make that block. They could, they could just switch Yordle Grifter and Petty Officer around. Stay alive. Huh. I mean, all they had to do is switch Yoro Grifter and Petty Officer and they'd stay alive. Alright, two and three. So there we go, there's our Nocturne Sejuani deck.
Get some Fearsome. Get some Frostbite. Get some Nightfall. Babbling Bjerg was pretty sweet there, especially with like fading memories, getting multiple Babbling Bjergs. Because like our one Babbling Bjerg found Nocturne for us, the and then we uh, fading memories got another one, and that found Sedjuani for us. And playing that, they just didn't attack into our Babbling Bjerg. Um, so that was pretty awesome. So yeah, cool little deck here. You know, got some good stuff. It kind of seemed like we could have used some more harsh winds, but we also kind of need some more cards just in general. Maybe like some more card advantage. Um, it's kind of hard to fit everything in though that we want. But I liked how this worked. I liked, I think I liked how this uh, played out. Maybe three Brittle Steel, two Elixir of Iron, right? Like maybe those two go the other way. Maybe Flash Freeze could just be another Harsh Winds. I don't know. The Flash Freeze was good for us, though, that last game. All right, cool little deck here. You know, there's um, there's just so many different... Like with all these new champions, there's so many old champions and just trying to, trying to fit in or trying to find fits with all of them. Um, you know, combining all of them, there's, there's so many different champions to combine. And that's, what's great about this game. We're, we're going to be continue to play four different decks every single day, the next two months until we have the new set and we'll do it all over again. So if you want to, you know, hopefully y'all are really learning a lot and, uh, enjoying seeing all these different combinations of champions everywhere and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it here for Nocturne Sejuani, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.